Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Mwangi. In this channel, I teach mathematics and physics. Our today's lesson is about waves. So I have a question here under waves 1. If you are new, kindly subscribe for more. You can give me a like or leave a comment for a question. So we have uh, the diagram below shows the wave profile of a transverse wave. Uh, the displacement on the y-axis and again length on the x-axis. Determine the amplitude of the wave, the wavelength of the wave in meters, the period of the wave. Calculate the frequency, calculate the velocity of the wave. But before this, I would like us to go through the topic. In summary, I will start with the introduction. So, under introduction, we uh, define wave. A wave is a transmission of a disturbance and therefore a wave transmits energy from one point to another. Waves are classified into two, electromagnetic and mechanical wave. So when you talk about electromagnetic waves, these are waves which do not require a material medium for their transmission. But mechanical wave, these are waves which require material medium for transmission. For example, sound wave. So electromagnetic waves, like I said earlier, include, for example, the sun, light, microwave. These waves do not require a material medium for their transmission. They can travel in a vacuum. So number two, we have the mechanical wave. They require material medium, for example, water waves. Sound wave, they require air. So again, the mechanical waves are classified into transverse, and longitudinal. So transverse waves are waves in which the displacement of the medium of the particle is at right angle to the direction of the propagation of the wave. For example, water wave. And a good example is when a rope is uh, moved up and down, we form what we call transverse wave. For example, this uh, is a transverse wave. We have a crest on top there, a trough down here. These are two waves. So our complete wave will comprise a crest and a trough. A crest is the highest point of the transverse wave, while the trough is the lowest point of the transverse wave. And um, we can see from the diagram there. Then longitudinal waves. These are waves in which the displacement of the medium particles is parallel to the direction of the propagation of the wave. And the example of the transverse wave or longitudinal waves are sound wave. And in sound wave, we have uh, compressions and rear function. So the distance between a compression and a rear function gives us a complete wave. What is a pulse? It's a single disturbance that is transmitted through a medium. It can be transverse or longitudinal in nature. So what we can see there with only a crest is a trough. Is a pulse. Terms associated with waves. So we have different terms that are associated with waves. Uh, we'll start with the uh, an oscillation and uh, a full wave makes a complete oscillation. So an oscillation has a, a complete as a trough and a crest. And then we'll talk about the amplitude, the highest are the maximum displacement from the mean position. So an oscillation, for example, in this case, we have D, E, F, E, D. So it is a complete to and fro motion. So when it moves or when this bob is released from D, it will move to E, F, and back. So when you talk about the amplitude is the maximum displacement of a particle from the mean position, like in my the diagram there, the one abbreviated as A, that is the amplitude of a wave. When we talk about a wavelength, there's a distance between two successive crests of troughs. And the, we can see there, it's abbreviated by lambda, it's a Greek word, and it is measured in meters. So again, we move on and talk about the period is the time taken by a particle to complete one oscillation. So one oscillation to and from D to F and back to D, that is a complete oscillation. So the time taken to complete that oscillation is the 
So when you talk about the frequency, it's the number of complete oscillation made by a particle in one second. So like for example, this wave has two or has two oscillations. So we'd like to look at the time it takes to complete one oscillation or number of complete made uh, complete oscillation made by a particle in one second. Speed of the wave is uncovered between are the two successive crest or trough in one second. So the wave equation is uh, derived from speed is equal to distance over time. Distance for this case is the wave length. Time is the period. So lambda divided by t. So, but uh, f is equal to one over t. That's where how we come up with v of velocity of a wave is given by lambda times frequency. Now getting back to our question, we try and answer this question. The diagram below shows the wave profile of a transverse wave. Determine the amplitude of the wave. <coughs> so we said the amplitude is the maximum displacement from the mean position. So the maximum displacement for this case is 2, two, two centimeters. If you look at the negative side, you have negative 2. But you will draw, we can't take the sign. So we have 2 centimeter. So we divide this by 100. Uh, to write it into the SI unit and we get 0 0.02 meters. So that is question is answered. So the wavelength of the wave in meters. So we talked about the wavelength as the distance between two successive troughs or crests. So if we consider the, the crest we have at 4 and at, at uh, Eight there, so that is our wavelength. So we'll say eight minus four. Eight minus four, we get four. And if you do it uh, using the trough, you can talk of six minus two, we'll still get four. Four divided by a hundred, we get zero point zero four meters. So that is the wavelength of this wave. So moving on, the period of the wave, if it takes one point five seconds to move from A to B. So we said the period is the time taken to complete one oscillation. And in this case, how many oscillations do we have? We have one, two, and three. So three oscillations takes 1.5 seconds. So three oscillations is the same as or time taken to complete the three oscillation is 1.5 seconds. What about one oscillation? Because period is the time taken to complete one oscillation. So solving for the unknown or the x, we find that x will be 1.5, we divide by three to get 0. 0 0.5 seconds, 0 0.5 seconds, and therefore that is the period of the wave, the time taken to complete one oscillation. Calculate the frequency of the wave. So we talked about frequency, frequency and the period are related in that f is equal to 1 over t, or 1 over period. So therefore this is the same as 1 all over 0 0.5 seconds. And we get this to be two hertz, two hertz. Then we have the velocity of the wave is equals to F lambda. So we have the frequency. So frequency times the wavelength 0 0.04. So we'll talk about two times 0 0.04 to get so 2 times 0 0.04 to get 0 0.08 meters per second. So that is the end of our, my presentation. Uh, below there, I've given two questions or one question, try and answer. And it's accompanied with the, the expected answers. So you try and make sure you see and weigh yourself whether you've understood the concept or not. If you are yet to subscribe, a humble request, kindly subscribe. Have a good day.